Dobar dan, sa poštovanjem predsjedniče Republike Makedonije, dame gospoda, drago mi je da ste me našli i zaslužnim da mogu da prisustujem ovom forumu koji je vrlo važan promovirati Makedoniju na svetu i nažalost nisam sa vama lično, ali dušo mi je da ste vi i malo sam zavidan da vi jedete tavče, grapče i bureka i ja ovdje na pečalbi, ali to je sudbina. Idući put. Pilja nam je naredila da govorim na engleskom. I sada počnemo na engleskom. Ladies and gentlemen, the subject that I was asked to talk about is what are the barriers that hold people, in this case Macedonia, from becoming an international oriented country, expanding to global markets rather than just local markets. Probably it's something similar to a country like Israel, which has more incoming money than expending money. That is the second largest participant in the New York stock market in the world. So the question is, how can Macedonia be there? I feel that I can answer this question. I feel qualified because I've lectured and consulted now to some major corporations around the world and governments as well. So maybe I can share in the 15 minutes given to me what my experience says are the barriers and what can be done about it. First, there are some mental barriers. But the first mistake is also to believe that all we need to do is change people's mind. It's not enough. It's not enough. So let's talk about what are the mental barriers and then what are the other, probably in my judgment, much bigger problems that need to be overcome. The mental could be kind of a provincial outlook, having no experience and exposure to outside of the country and living in kind of a closed circled environment. How do we overcome that, I believe, is several things. Number one, we need to take the people out of the country to visit foreign lands, to be exposed. And that is done in many countries where they have management development programs and it's a requirement as part of the education that the so-called students, but usually these are executives and not students, as a part of the program to visit certain countries, visit certain enterprises, see how they're managed, open their mind, open their eyes. I just got last year, or was it two years ago, all the top agricultural executives of Ukraine visiting me in Santa Barbara, California, and I took them to visit one of my clients, which is the largest farm in the United States, which has most of the market in pistachios and pomegranate and oranges. And so they saw a big farm the size of Macedonia, probably, how it is being managed. That kind of opened their eyes. There are some executives from Israel that traveled to China to visit factories the child, they travel to countries which are developing to see how they do it. So exposure is very helpful. One way to change the mind. 
but it's also done for students, not just for executives. There is an association called ISEC, Association of International Students of Economics and Commerce, that they exchange students. So during the summer, the students go from one country to another and work in a company for maybe three months, sometimes for a year, and they get exposed. There is a third thing which I believe is the most important one, because exposure is not enough. Why? Because you might get scared. You just feel like, oh, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, but who am I to do it? So that's why I believe it's important to have public relations campaign, articles in newspapers, in magazines, interviews on television of people from Macedonia who have made it internationally. And then you create a hero that people look up to and say, my God, if he can do it or she can do it, I can do it too, you know, why not me? You need to create a hero, a hero. Unfortunately, in the Balkan, the heroes are usually people that suffer a lot. Oh, look at the poor guy. So I'm going to suffer too. No, no, please. Let's get out of the suffering and let's go into success stories and build a success story and let the people be jealous. Let them be jealous and let them say, if they can do it, I can do it. So that's how I will change the mind of people. Exposure and create an appetite, create a hunger that people say, I can do it too. Not good enough. And that's where usually people fail because they believe all we have to change people's attitude and everything will be all right. It isn't. There must be also a structural solution. And what does it mean, structural solution? For people to export to foreign countries, it's scary. There are a lot of uncertainties. There is a lot of risk. So you have to mitigate that risk. You have to reduce the uncertainty structurally. And what does it mean? I was just consulting to a prime minister of a certain country. I cannot get into who they are because it's always a secret. And we were reorganizing the executive branch, the cabinet. And then as we looked at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, he started kind of smiling, he says, I don't know what these ambassadors are doing in all these countries. They have nothing to do because we don't have any foreign relations problems, you know. You know what? Why don't we make really commercial attaches? They should really go and get investments and develop relationships and develop opportunities. So you know what we did to all these ambassadors? We converted them to attaches reporting to the Ministry of Economy. And by the way, they give visas. By the way, they give visas. The real goal is how many opportunities did you discover? How many connections did you open? More than that. In every country, this kind of a person, at a show something, has to be qualified to provide services to marketing research, show us what opportunities might be, identify contacts, bring investors, bring people that have this opportunity to do work in Macedonia, provide legal advice, provide tax planning advice, because when you go to a foreign country, you're like, if I may use a Macedonian song, they don't know where they are, they don't know what to do. So we need to give them help. Give them a hope. Open doors, open advice. But that's not good enough. There must be a counterpart in Macedonia that then takes the knowledge which happens from these countries and develops the counterparts in Macedonia to put them in contact. And there must be expertise in Macedonia to help the local guys. Again, legal advice, tax planning advice. 
more than that. Business consulting advice. Because you should not go to a foreign country with good intentions. That's not good enough. Or they're being very hungry. That's not good enough. You need to make strategic alliances. Don't go alone. Again, Buchkurima, Gashdilena. No, don't go alone. You need to develop a strategic alliance. Either a marketing alliance, somebody is going to as a marketing contacts already, as the channels, as a capability to open the market for you. Or you want a technological alliance, they have a technology you don't have. Or you want to have an alliance of talent, finding you the right people because you're stuck, you don't have the people. Or maybe it is money. So what you have to ask yourself the question, what is opportunity? What are the barriers, legal, economic? And then what do I need to be successful? And where do I find my partner? And then what kind of a business consulting do I need? to make this partnership successful so I don't make mistakes. So as you see, becoming an international exposed country takes more than just changing attitude or having wishes. Wishful thinking and five dinners will buy you a burek. You need more than that. You need a structure, a system. And if you are really serious about something like this, it has to be a ministry, strong enough, close to the prime minister, to, to develop an infrastructure, to develop the knowledge, to develop the information, to develop the incentives. Well, let's talk about incentives for a second. Many economists believe, oh, to become international, let's do a devaluation, so we are cheaper and everything will be fine. It isn't. It isn't. It is really the least important, in my judgment. The least important. It's not a devaluation. To make yourself cheaper. It is to have the capability to deliver the product successfully, with strategic alliances, with knowledge, with business model, and with leadership that is hungry, capable, and believing in himself. I wish you success, and when you eat the tapche krapche, remember me, I am with you. Thank you very much.